Here we go. Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to graph y equals x squared. So what we're going to do to graph y equals x squared is I'm going to use a table method. And if you remember when we first learned how to graph lines, you know, the first way we remember even the Cartesian coordinate program system is remember we have an x-axis and a y-axis where all the points, um, y coordinate point has an x and a y coordinate, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a set of points and I am then going to plug them into my equation to find the x and the y point. So let's take a look here. Uh, when creating a table, you can really kind of pick you know, any points that you really want to as far as uh, for your x coordinates and then you know, to get your y coordinates. However, it is important that you do want to make sure you include some positive and some negative. So I know y equals x squared. Uh, I'm going to start with this one just to do negative 3 negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, and let's do 3 as well. So to figure this out, what we're going to do to find the, the y coordinate for each one of these, you're just going to plug in your x value um, in for, into the equation for x and then find y. So we have y equals negative 3 squared, y equals negative 2 squared, y equals negative 1 squared, y equals 0 squared, y equals 1 squared, y equals 2 squared, and y equals 3 squared. That's a cute. <laughs> Not a squared. So let's just go and simply, what does the square mean again, right? Well, the square means x multiplied by itself. I could write it like this, x equals x times x. So negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3. Well, negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to positive 9. So I'm going to write that right there. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. 0 times anything is always 0. 1 times 1 is 1. Uh, 4 and 9. All right? So now what we're going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to plot these points on my graph. So I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to kind of continue this up a little bit. Just because I'm kind of running out of space. So all we're going to do is remember each each point has an x, y, where x tells you where to go along the x-axis, and your y-coordinate tells you where to go along the y-axis. So let's go for our first point, negative 3. So negative 3 tells me to go on the x-axis to negative 3, as this is negative direction, that's positive. So I go 1, 2, 3, and then I go up 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I'm just sketching this graph. I'm not going to get it exactly right, but um, you should know that this point is at negative 3, comma 9. Now let's find our next point, negative 2, 4. So now I only go over 2 and then up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll write negative 2, comma 4. Then I have negative 1, up 1. Then we have 0, 0. 1, comma 1. 2, comma 4. And then we have 3, comma 9. So what we're going to do is now we're going to create a little path. And the path of the x squared is actually what we call parabola, where sometimes we call it a U-shaped graph because it's not a line. It's not lines connected, but it actually has a nice little curve to it. And I'm going to put arrows at the end because this graph is going to extend infinitely up and out into space. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's, um, that is your quadratic um, it's kind of low rough, I understand, but there's a couple things I want you guys to notice. Even though this doesn't look like it's symmetrical, notice that this graph, it doesn't matter if I go negative 2 or positive 2, I still have 4. This graph, the distance, if you notice from each one of these points, is the exact same distance from our y-axis. So one thing that's important about this um, quadratic, y equals x squared, is it's symmetrical um, vertically, or in this example, it's symmetrical about the y-axis. So that's something very important that when we talk about the other graphs, you'll be able to see. But when doing, when learning how to graph, the um, main important thing is being able to use a table. And when we get to different functions, I'll show you how is that going to alter depending on where your graph is. But 
Just understand you use your table, you plug it in, and you get a table of values, and then also remember you have symmetry as well. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you graph a quadratic. Thanks.